full of every kind of drama and teen angst you can imagine. Welcome three of the incredible stars. We have got Ricardo Hoyos in the center, Sarah Wasteglass off to the side, an original cast member, the OG, <laughs> Stefan Broger. I'm, I'm an OG. You were in the show before they were even a thought. I, I know. It's, you know what? Jurassic Next Generation, I think you were one year, you're like a year old or something when we started Jurassic Next Generation. Oh, like, were you? Do you mean like how many years I've been on? Or no. 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 I think that you were there, like when right? I started the original oh, show. Like, no, I was three. <laughs> Matt's hard. Five, she was three. She was three. But it's been that long. It's been you know, our 15th year of the new show, let alone the old like Jurassic Junior High and High. Congrats. So let's talk a little bit about what it is like joining the longest TV drama in Canadian history. Like this is, it's, is it 28 years and going strong? It's something insane. Like it's that. something insane. It's, uh, yeah, well, I think we try to concentrate on episode to episode. Yeah. <laughs> because you literally were not alive or even a thought I when this thing started. <laughs> no, when, the, when this Oh, yeah. No, I, I wasn't, yeah. Right? So what is it like being a part of this incredible show? Um, it's pretty fantastic. I mean, you grow up on it. Every Canadian knows it and has known it since before they can remember. So it's like to be on it is is weird but also like amazing and like you can't believe it and you're excited and all you, those things like watching Ricardo grow up is pretty has been pretty funny because he's gone from sort of like he's a little bit like now, well you're a super handsome dude now but and like back oh, yeah. then you were kind of like he's 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 growing up in front of our eyes and same with like Sarah like she's were you 15 when you started yeah Aww. they were there so what is it like for you then Sarah because here you are you know playing out the role of high school student yet you can't actually be in high school so do you feel like you are missing out when you're part of the set or does that just kind of take care of it all for you? Well, I mean, the people that I work with, it's like they're all kind of close to my age. And so it kind of is high school. And, and when you're in that set, it's, it's hard to separate it from actual high school. Um, but it's fun. Like, and yeah, I miss a couple days of school, but I, I get to do what I love. And, and uh, whatever experiences I don't get in actual high school, I get on the show. <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about what it's like directing, because not only are you Principal Archie, mm. you actually put on the directing role, uh, the hat, quite yeah. a few times. So what's that like? Do you like bossing everybody around? I, I love it so much. Yeah. Uh, but I have, I really do have a great relationship with these guys, I think, because I have, you know, I try to work with them on a level of we're partners in this game a little bit. and. I think there's, especially this year, there's been a real new revamping of the show uh, now that we're on. There's on, a cool uh, hangout space, I know. Yeah, it's called the Conversation Pit, but being on, like, pit. you know, uh, we, our new bosses, in a sense, make us want us to, this to be very true and, and feel like it's a little bit more hardcore, more like an older Degrassi that we haven't been able to do in the last couple of years. So the stories are very uh, true to what kids are going through. I think we really wanted to make uh, our audience feel that we understand what they can't maybe say out loud to their parents. Yeah, and for parents, by the way, you know, here I am watching as an aunt, not knowing what catfishing is, but I learned through one of the episodes I was able to screen. So it's so much about technology and how that influences high school students, which we didn't know about back then. And it's, it didn't changed, exist. it's changed so much from like even the first season of Degrassi, Next Generation, which was about a young girl in the first episode finding or the possibility that she's being uh, like uh, followed by an older man online and it turning into what what is on what is the internet now it's snapchat like right? that's a whole new world of like weirdness that you how can't... do you navigate it and what <laughs> I don't about drake know. how do we feel about following in the footsteps of one drake well you were there before him did you know he had that thing on set did you did you ever in a million years think he would become who he is today no <laughs> and I'm going to say this right now. He's awesome. And he was awesome back then. But who does this? Who, who does? does this? Who becomes Drake? That's International crazy. International superstar. Yeah, like, I mean, he was going to, like, I knew that they all, we had a real, I mean, uh, the cast is, uh, these are most impressive kids in Canada, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe the world. Aww. But they are, but when you see someone like that, you go, that kid is awesome. That kid is awesome. But the work that he has put into being that, he was doing back then also. He was sleeping on set sometimes because he was in the studio all night and then would come and act during the day. Yeah. And was always on, was always, I love him so much. I'm really proud of him. I just, who knew that, that he would be the, one of the biggest things in the world? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Do you guys love Drake? Do you listen to Drake? Of course. Do a little hotline bling dance? Do you got that down? I didn't realize I that it. was, that's just how I dance. <laughs> he modeled that after you, maybe, I'm afraid say. that might be the case. Okay, guys, check it out. Degrassi Next Class premieres January 4th in Family Channel's new teen block, F2N. Go to breakfasttelevision.ca for more information. Continue success. I really did enjoy it. You guys are all wonderful actors. You keep it up for another 28 years. Let's do this. Do it. Yes. Right now, over to Kevin Frankers in the newsroom.